hello as I promised you before I will uh, model an aircraft by using vortex lats method so today we have this aircraft these information are required to embed in vortex lats method uh, we have the main wing with two partition so this is partition one partition two and we need this information and um, the winglet why since the winglet has a symmetric airfoil and the wingtip has asymmetric or another uh, airfoil uh, so we will deal with the winglet as uh, a separate wing so this will be a um, uh, wing two for the horizontal and vertical uh, tail uh, this is the information and we will uh, use naked weld in each section the starting point for each wing uh, is very important now uh, for the main wing 00, zero and for the winglet should be at this point and uh, the horizontal and vertical uh, wing also uh, this is uh, very important so we will use vortex class method you can download the vortex class method as I mentioned in the uh, in the uh, partition one of this tutorial uh, now we can uh, run the vortex class method and choose number one to uh, make a, a new aircraft geometry so number one uh, please enter choice from above define new geometry one and number of wing we have now uh, four wing one two three four Now the data regarding to the wing number one, number of semi span partition. We have two partition in this main wing. Center of gravity we will leave this zero zero and the reference point zero zero is the wing mirrored in the XZ plane, yes. and the root cord is 2 meter now we should enter the profile file name uh, of this airfoil so we have NACA 2412 uh, for a uh, 4 digit serial number we can uh, write this directly or if you have another airfoil you can uh, just copy the airfoil name and put it here but we have uh, NACA 24 so just write 2412 number of panel cord wise we will choose 5 panel uh, the partition dihedral for this partition uh, 0 Uh, number of panel semi span wise we will use uh, 10 panel span of partition uh, we have 2 meters table ratio is 0.5 the tip cord airfoil 2410 NACA 2410 the chord line sweep degree 30 degree and the twist we don't have twist now available mesh distribution we will use linear is partition flapped no now uh, this information is regarding to the partition 2 partition dihedral we have 10 degree dihedral number of panels semi span we use 10 Span partition to meter 
and taper ratio is 0.8 the tip cord is 2409 quarter cord line sweep is 30 degree out for the twist we don't have twist and available mesh distribution number one is partition flap no so now the data regarding to the wing number two or the winglet number of semi span partition we just have one partition in this winglet is the wing mirrored in the XZ plane? Yes. And a big X coordinate. So we have 2.9 uh, 2.6094. This is for X coordinate, for Y coordinate is 4. And for Z and three five two six. The root code is point eight. The airfoil like a zero 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 nine. Number of panel cord wise, we will use 5. Base cord twist, we don't have twist. Partition dihedral, uh, this is very important because this uh, wing is uh, vertical, so the dihedral here is 90 degrees. Number of panels semi span. We will select eight panel span of partition. This is one meter. Taper ratio point five. Tip cord the same airfoil. Quarter core line sweep in 20 degree. Twist is zero. And linear uh, Is partition a flap? No. Okay, we finished the second wing. Now the data now is regarding the to the wing number three. Number three is the horizontal uh, tail. So we have this information. We have just one partition and of course symmetric. Number of semi span partition one is the wing mirrored in the exit plane, yes. Abix coordinate is 3.500. So the X is 3.500. Zero, zero. Root code is uh, 1 meter. The airfoil is NACA 12. Number of panel cord wise, 5. Base cord is twist, we don't have twist. We don't have dihedral for this. And number of panel semi span wise, we will select, for example, 10. Span of partition. 
1 meter taper ratio is 0.5 the tip cord uh, airfoil also not at well quarter cord line sweep is 25 degree and we don't have twist zero and the measure is linear this partition flap for this example now now the data is regarding to the wing number four the uh, vertical wing so we just have one side of the wing so we this wing will be not mirrored and the dihedral is 90 degree so number of semi span partition we have just one partition and is the mirror is the wing mirrored in the exit plane this is very important we don't have um, there are for this wing and the apex coordinate is 300 zero. so the x is the 3 y 0 z root code is 1.5 the airfoil is like a 12 number of panel cord wise we will select 5 panel and we don't have a twist the dihedral is 90 degree this is important number of panels semi span wise we will select 10 panel span of a partition 1.5 and table ratio is 0.5 the airfoil tip 0012 quarter cord line sweep we have sweep 40 degree and we don't have twist and the mesh distribution is linear this part is flap no now we finish entering the uh, dimension of this aircraft we need to graph this aircraft but before that I recommend you to save this geometry before doing anything because if you uh, did something wrong this will be disappeared so you have to put the dimension but if you save it and the uh, there was a problem you can uh, edit it um, now we can go to the aircraft geometry setup and uh, save the geometry for you can save your geometry for example they will so select the name test two now you can load the your geometry by going go to uh, number three edit your geometry and select uh, number seven to plot the geometry this is your geometry look nice so this is the dihedral the second partition the wing one and this is the winglet this is the uh, vertical tail and this is the horizontal tail so you can uh, show your geometry in 3d So now you can enter the uh, flight 
uh, status of this aircraft go back to the main menu and select flight condition setup and then uh, define a new state and select the angle of that for example 5 degree beta 0 rolling between the 0 and you can the select your speed or altitude for example we will select number 2 to select the speed and altitude so the true air speed is meter per second and your altitude 5 kilometer and uh, if you're looking to uh, apply random land correction when the, your mark number is high to make correction for the this bundle so we will select no and you can generate the latest and then you can select uh, the method of uh, vortex that method because there is a standard vortex that method and uh, free stream following wake uh, which is adopted by uh, Thomas Berlin uh, for internal the word class method so we will select number zero and then uh, you have to go to processor and for example we will select this static computation and enter uh, the name for the, your result we will select this two and now the, the program is working and we need to wait and finish you can exit from the tornado and uh, present your result so the output and this is your result You can find the left coefficient of each wing. For example, this is for the wing number one, number two, three, four. Uh, this is for the winglet and this is for the uh, vertical uh, tail. Uh, as you see, the, the left coefficient is about zero. So this is, should be ignored. And we have left coefficient for the main wing, left coefficient for the uh, horizontal tail. Also the same thing with the drag of the wing and this is the total lift and the total drag. And if you're looking to find the lift coefficient corresponding to the specific reference uh, uh, area, so you can choose this uh, equation to find the lift coefficient by using the total lift of aircraft and then divided by half uh, v square time density time the reference area so just select your desired reference area and you can find the left coefficient for this aircraft helps you find this editorial uh, is useful for your work or your study and thank you very much